One of the most popular marketing strategies out there is to capture a user's email address and send them newsletters to keep them engaged with your brand. And one of the best known and most popular solutions is MailChimp. They allow you to create a free account and it includes a ton of useful features, including automation, which is a very powerful feature. Just like with Google Analytics, even if you aren't planning on using newsletter marketing right now, you should still capture email addresses. Go ahead and pause this video to create a free MailChimp account if you don't already have one. To connect your service to MailChimp, there are a few options. We could go with the official MailChimp extension from EDD. It's reasonably priced at $50 per year. But if you're just getting started, I'm a big fan of using free tools to keep your startup costs low. So we're going to be using MailChimp for WordPress, since it's a free plugin that does basically the same thing. So we're going to go to our admin, and then under plugins, add new, we're going to type in MailChimp for WordPress. There it is. Let's go ahead and install that and activate it. We have to do a few things to get this connected. And this is actually a little bit buried in MailChimp. Let's go ahead and go over to our MailChimp account. Now I've already logged in. And under my account, we're going to click on our profile, account, extras, and then API keys. And then I recommend creating a new API key for every application you have. So you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the list and click create a key. Or I'll just grab one of my existing for testing purposes. Now we can go back to our admin and under MailChimp for WP, we'll click on that. And now we paste it right here. So I'll paste it in and click Save Changes. And this gray not connected should change to a green connected. It'll take a second and then you should be able to see your lists right here. There they are. Now that our website is connected to MailChimp, we still need to tell this plugin what to do when someone buys a product. Let's go over to Integrations. And then under Easy Digital Downloads, we can click on this one. This will automatically subscribe our Easy Digital Download customers to our MailChimp list. Yes, we want that on. And there's a few extra settings to configure. I recommend leaving implicit set to no. You should always ask someone before they subscribe. You can go ahead and pick one of your lists. Pick this one. You may only have one and that's fine too. I do enjoy pre-checking the checkbox, but if you want to be very specific, you can turn that off. And we can leave all of the rest of these as defaults. Let's go ahead and click Save Changes to see what this looks like. Let's go to Downloads. And I'll take a look at one of our favorite downloads. Take a look at the front end. Check out. And you'll notice right here is sign me up for the newsletter. So that's all someone has to do and they'll be signed up. Of course, you can always go back here and change a few of these settings if you want. But by default, it's pretty easy to set up. So with just a few minutes work, we're now capturing email addresses for future marketing purposes. And this doesn't cost us anything at all.